from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. I'm Jeb Mills and here are your ABC Action News headlines. Days after testing negative for COVID-19, President Joe Biden has once again tested positive. The medication used to treat the president could be the culprit for his reinfection. It happens to a small number of people who treat their COVID infection with Paxlovid. Doctors say the problem is the drug's longevity. The drug is recommended for people with moderate symptoms, but with a high risk for hospitalization or death. President Biden's doctor says he doesn't have any symptoms, but he will isolate until he tests negative again. Even with COVID still going around and surging inflation, it is not stopping tourists from visiting the Sunshine State. Pinellas County leaders say tourists are visiting by the thousands. Clyde Smith is the GM of the Billmar Beach Resort in Treasure Island. He says the pace has really picked up and they could even top last year's marks. He says many Floridians might be choosing staycations as well because of the higher gas prices. We're here in Tampa, we're here in Brooksville, uh, really that drive in market that wants to get away and go to the beach, but doesn't want to leave state and you know, fly out anywhere. Plenty of visitors are coming from out of state as well. St. Pete Clearwater International Airport says they posted a record for monthly passengers for the fourth straight month. Here's an update on the $1.33 billion Mega Millions drawing. We now know two tickets that each won $2 million were sold right here in Central Florida. One of those tickets was sold at Winn-Dixie on Tampa Road in Palm Harbor. The other ticket was sold at a public store on Orange Blossom Trail in Kissimmee. A ticket that won $1 million was sold at a mobile gas station on Highway 27 in Sebring. The ticket that hit the jackpot, though, that was sold near Chicago. Now let's check in with Lydia Vasquez for a look at your forecast. Well, happy Sunday. We're expecting temperatures today in the mid to upper 90s. Take a look. The highs for today in Tampa going to reach up to 97 degrees, possibly 97 in Plant City. Along the coastal areas, 94 degrees for Clearwater and St. Pete. The day planner today is showing lots of sunshine in our future. I mean, check it out. This little icon, mostly sunny the entire day, really. Then come 4 o'clock we'll, or 5 o'clock, we'll start to see those partly cloudy conditions, hopefully bringing us some relief as we're not expecting much rain as we typically see this time of year. All right, Lydia, thanks. We're always on when you need us, by the way. Make sure to add the ABC Action News Plus to your favorite streaming device. We will see you right there.